Climate change, hunger, inequality. We know the challenges. We understand how we must respond. So what is standing in our way? Our Human Development Report says that it is because lives are being unsettled and times are uncertain in ways that have no precedent. Lives are unsettled in many ways. Even before the COVID-19 pandemic, more than six in seven people worldwide felt insecure. And stress is rising too, as you can see. Before 2020, reversals in the Human Development Index were rather uncommon. About one out of 10 countries, including during the period of global financial crisis. But in 2020 and 2021, it rose to nine out of 10 countries. Global development has been turned on its head. And that is why the Global Human Development Index has declined for the first time and two years in a row. It is back to its 2016 level. Unsettled lives, unsettled minds. As shown in this graph, we are facing a crisis in mental health. In total, one in eight now suffer from mental health disorders, 10 percentage points higher than a decade ago. This is a challenge for those affected and is a major roadblock to advancing human development. Why are lives being unsettled? The reason, we believe, is that uncertainty is changing. Yes, we've always lived with uncertainty. There's nothing new about disease, war, or poverty. But today, there are three new and interacting layers of uncertainty. First, we confront a new planetary reality with climate change, biodiversity loss, and new diseases like COVID-19. They are all driven and amplified by inequalities. Second, we are pursuing a massive transformation towards a low carbon future, all while technological innovation is also racing ahead. And third, there is widespread and intensifying polarization across and within countries. Together, they form what we call a new uncertainty complex, and it is unsettling lives everywhere. As a result, people feel more insecure. More insecure people tend to trust others less. And as the slide shows, they are more likely to hold extreme political views. With insecurity increasing, fewer than 30% trust others, its lowest recorded value. And we see rising political polarization. At the limit, this can turn into violent conflict, which is already affecting more than 1.2 billion people. Democratic practices like freedom of expression are under stress. And this is making it harder to come together to tackle shared problems at a time when we need to most. So what to do? Uncertainty can also broaden our horizons about what we can achieve. It can make what was once unfeasible now possible. The response to COVID-19, despite the many challenges and glaring inequalities, has provided some examples. There were new vaccines, bold policies for social protection, and we all adopted new social norms and behaviors. To harness these new possibilities, we must embrace uncertainty. But to do this, people need to feel safe and in control of their own lives. How do we achieve this? Both policies and social norms need to change. We can start in two ways. On the one hand, policies to ramp up investment in people, insurance to protect from the ups and downs, and innovation to respond to whatever challenges humanity might face. On the other, by shifting social norms through education to strengthen agency, through social recognition and representation to acknowledge everyone's right to be heard. Social movements can help lead the way. Ultimately, to navigate uncertainty, we need to double down on human development. Doubling down on human development means improving health and education, but also giving people a greater sense of control over their lives. By addressing inequality and enhancing people's freedoms and opportunities, we can unlock human potential, enabling choices so people can thrive today and tomorrow. Thank you.